towns in 20 days. And this afternoon we are in Milford. That's where we find Channel 3's Lauren Richardson. Lauren, how's it going out there? Yeah, hi, Mark and Aaron. Milford is a beautiful spot, right? There's so many great places to walk around, but there's also some locations that actually Cindy uh, tells me that there are some ghosts and some haunted activities. So here she is, Cindy, from the Spirits of uh, Ghost Walks in Milford. Spirits of Milford Ghost Walks. Oh, see, I completely <laughs> botched that. But anyway, so Cindy, tell me a little bit about, uh, we want to show some video actually of the cemetery. I know you go there uh, at the end of your tour, right? So yes. tell me a little bit about uh, uh, the Milford Cemetery. Well, the older a place is, the more likely it is to have spiritual activity. And Milford Cemetery, it's believed to be the oldest continuously operating cemetery in the United States. Mm. So that alone gives it a, a large likelihood of being haunted. But it's 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 an amazing place. We have three colonial governors who are buried there. But the person who I think is the most interesting is a guy named Andrew Sanford, who was accused of being a witch during Connecticut's witch trials. Oh, wow. Very interesting. All right. And tell me a little bit about your, your walk. So how long are they? And, you know, when can people join in? So our walks take place every weekend and they're about 90 minutes long and they are a lantern lit walk uh, a little bit over a mile through mm -hmm. downtown Milford. We start at the Hotchkiss Bridge, which we're right near right now, um, behind Milford Library and uh, we make a big circle and they're so much fun. Oh wow, well yeah, it sounds definitely a little bit spooky. Speaking of though, let's take a look at the forecast too for Milford as we head towards tomorrow. So in Milford specifically, it's going to be partly sunny for the afternoon. We're going to be seeing temperatures that could top out possibly in the upper 60s, maybe nearing that 70 degree mark. So, of course, we'll be keeping you posted. But we're going to be here live all night in Milford talking about this ghost walk and also talking about some of that beautiful scenery around here. So live in Milford, I'm Lauren Richardson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Lauren.